Alright. Let me ask you a question. When uh, you were little and you were growing up, it's your birthday on the 5th of July. Did you uh, get the feeling sometimes that some of that celebration was for you? All this? Yeah. Hoo -ha. Yeah, quite a lot. In fact, I was just eating at a restaurant last night, and the lady next to me, we went to celebrate my birthday, and the lady next to me had a birthday also, the 5th of July. Uh -huh. And I had the greatest time talking to a total stranger about how when she was a little kid, just thinking, uh, about, you know, up until the age she said she was 13 before she first realized that it wasn't for her. But, you know, mm -hmm. I, I kind of, I was a little more perceptive than that, and I, I caught on <laughs> a little quicker. But, uh, yeah, I used yeah. to, I used to enjoy birthdays a lot, and, uh... It's like, uh, people have birthdays just right on holidays, and all the, the brouhaha celebration of that holiday must, when they're little, they certainly must think it's all for them. Yeah, right. Exactly. Mark Cohen on the Coffee Break concert uh, plays guitar and writes songs uh, as a hobby and does better than some who are hacking away at it professionally, I might say. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. What's coming up? Well, this one, temperamental guitar again. This one is called Love Song Number One. The reason I called it Love Song Number One is that this is the first love song I wrote that was was my love song. Mm -hmm. All the others I'd written, like, say, when I was 12 or 13 or so, you know, how can a 12 or 13-year-old really be singing his own love song? I guess he could, but not me. So I was singing other people's songs, you know, like, just uh -huh. kind of very, very, uh, very easily taking other people's songs, changing the words, changing the chords, and saying, isn't this great? And How old were you when you wrote this? Well, Did this you know? one was the first one. This was about three and a half years ago. I wrote this one. About 15. So it was about 15. Yeah, not quite, I don't think. And I look at it now, it's... it's Did you have a steady girlfriend then? Do I have a steady girlfriend? Did you now? have? Did I? Uh, no. Uh -uh, I didn't. No, I don't want to know if you have one now, because then all the people who've been coming in, the women mostly looking at you and smiling and everything, will just be heartbroken if you say you've got a girlfriend <laughs> now. So we won't ask that question. Oh, wow. Well, um... Anyway, this song is the uh, first love song I ever wrote, and uh, <laughs> how can he I answer? He blushes nicely, too. I blush nicely. Yeah. And uh, let's just see how you like this one. I look at this as a very ludicrous type song because, well, it's actually, it actually was meant to be, and you'll, you'll hear why. But this is the kind of song you look back at. I mean, it's three years later, and I say, mm -hmm. I wrote that song. So here, let's try no, this.